Hello everyone, welcome back to this week's video. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications. We just stopped into a local cafe and picked up some yeah. coffee and chai. Same one in the, the first vlog. Yeah, so. one of our favorite places. And since it's a colder day and we're outside walking, we thought we'd grab something that's a little bit warmer. Well, at least for me. Yeah, and it might be a little noisy because we're on the street. But. So right now we're just walking around. I got the day off. Well, I got to leave early. So we're making the most of it. Yeah, so we both kind of wanted to say basically what we do to um, bring in income. I do um, plumbing part-time. I also teach music lessons, piano and guitar. And then I write music and write about music. So that's kind of my thing. I am a waitress and I also do photography. Yeah, so that's kind of what we're up to at this moment. We're working at that as well as making these vlogs and uh, trying to spend as much time as we can together. Yeah, so really. I thought for this video, we would give you a little bit of a tour of our hometown and where we grew up. Right now we're in Kennebunk and we're trying to get in a 45 minute walk, which we usually do on our days off. I also wanted to mention kind of what we're doing, the reason why exactly we're on a 45 minute walk. So we said that for a year we wanted to do um, every day 45 minutes of exercise, 10 pages in a personal development book or something that's useful to us. A progress picture. And, and 30 minutes of creative time, which could be photography, video editing. Um, like putting up for, these vlogs for you guys yeah. and for me that's music and other things and it sounds like 30 minutes isn't much when you're trying stuff you're trying to do and really passionate mm -hmm. about but when you make it that it's when you make it so it's every day it becomes difficult because not every day is convenient for even mm -hmm. 30 minutes sometimes you don't have 30 minutes so and it really, all adds up too it does and so it, sometimes it can become difficult to try and fit everything in even though it's you know it's a few simple things but it's not 75 hard it's not the live hard program it's just something we're doing every day well it's something that we've been doing for a couple months now too and we've already seen how it's impacted each of us yeah we have and before we did kind of something similar for about 75 days which once again sounds kind of like 75 hard but it wasn't because it was just one workout not two but we didn't want to overdo ourselves and we no. wanted something attainable especially for a year and yeah. we were thinking oh we can adjust our diets and stuff and say we can't have sweets which we thought at the beginning we do but then we're like you know we did it for a while and then we just kind of said you know we've done this before and it doesn't end well where you go a whole year without um you know things that taste good it's kind of just finding that moderation balance because we're taking a progress pick we want to see progress so we're going to have to put some discipline in it's like you're going to be standing yeah. in front of that mirror and you want to look your best and, you, and so you never get out of control with what you're eating so mm -hmm. it's i feel like it takes more discipline to to say well you want to look good so what are you going to do not force yourself hey i can't have this because mm -hmm. it's not sustainable long term so case is in the restroom right now i've just sat down in town we're going to be walking up main street to get a few clips of the tiny shops and cafes and everything around here that we walk by all the time and we'll show you guys a little bit of that too and then we'll head off to where i grew up in kenny bunkport we will show you guys around there as well Right now, we're kind of just driving around a little. 
So right now we are a minute drive from Kenny Bunk Beach. In the summer it gets pretty congested. Yeah, but this time of year it's perfect to enjoy, even though it's a little bit. Yeah, it's a little cooler. chilly, but it's um, it's past basically peak foliage. It's almost Halloween, so it's a lot less busy than it usually is. Right now we made it to uh, downtown Kenny Bunkport and behind us is a restaurant. Federal Jacks. Yeah, but right now I'm looking at the harbor, I guess. Yeah, and right now it's low tide, so everything's pretty low. But um, we've definitely spent a lot of time down here because we grew up here. <laughs> so we're really grateful to, to be here. It's such a nice place. And also, we've paddle boarded this river before, yeah, that and was we started. Yeah, we started. We did it with a friend and his girlfriend, and we started like way up, and we hit the tides just right. If you, yeah. if you're not familiar with tides or anything, if you get it wrong, you can't paddle against it. Really, I mean, you would have such a hard time, um, depending on what part of the river you're on. But obviously, as you go up, it gets more shallow and more narrow. But um yeah it was it's just gorgeous it was a lot of fun too yeah it was a great workout and thank goodness we left at the time that we did because i think if we were headed back to where we had parked our car and we didn't hit the tides right we would have been walking on the street carrying those for a long Very time true. <laughs> yeah because we wouldn't have been able to paddle back up no probably. it gets way too shallow yeah but it's gorgeous paddleboard What do you think? You want a boat? Yeah, of course. Someday. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> Sailboat. Before COVID, there weren't a lot of places to be outside. And if you look over there, there's a bunch of restaurants that have a little bit of outdoor dining. Yeah, I think they adapted well to uh, outdoor seating like most places. Yeah. I, I think they're probably getting more business than they were before. Yeah, definitely. Also up here, if we can cross the street, there's a restaurant that wasn't open this year, unfortunately, but this boat right here was a restaurant that you could sit out on and dine. Also, I've heard they have the best lobster roll that there is, this little place called the Clam Shack. And it's kind of funny because we've lived here for so long but never eaten here, but it always has a massive line. So yeah, I guess if you want years. expensive seafood, you can come here. Um, but we've never had it before. It looks like they have more than just that though too. Yeah. They got but a lot still. of stuff.
my favorite store around here is a sea glass jewelry place. Yeah, or if you <clears throat> happen to be in this area, just walking around and seeing all the shops, mm -hmm. um, there's all kinds of places that are just unique mm -hmm. to this one spot and they're accessible to basically anybody. It's a small town that is just, it there's a lot a to lot. see. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot to see. And so you walk around and you can see most of it and go into the shops. I mean, yeah, it can be a little expensive. Yeah, and they have a lot of restaurants, a lot of it's seafood, but you can find like burgers and fries and hot dogs and stuff like that. Yeah, and, then... and there's, a, there's a Mexican place and all kinds of normal stuff. So we just stopped to get some food and have a little bit of a snack before we go to the bush compound. And I ordered an acai bowl in case ordered some sort yeah, of burrito, burrito bowl. bowl. <clears throat> And his and we're not, looks amazing too. Yeah, and we're not actually going to the bush compound because you can't, but <laughs> we can pass it. I think that's as far as we're gonna go today. There's definitely a lot to see in this little area that we have shown you guys, mm -hmm. so. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, hit your post notifications, and subscribe to our channel. Mm -hmm. All right, bye.